So here is the camera, the little webcam that I found at Five Below. Looks kind of neat. It's a built-in microphone, it's USB plug and use, LED lights around it that you can switch on and off. Apparently it goes 30 frames per second and it rotates. You can also clip it onto like a laptop or just anywhere. The specs for it seem pretty straightforward. And there's a little paragraph if you want to read that. It's supposed to be very portable. Box is pretty simple. Comes with instructions. trying to do this with one hand. <laughs> the cords actually kind of has some good has some good distance on it. And it appears that it is it gets plugged in via USB. So you can't really hook this up to like your phone or anything like that, but it seems pretty easy to look at. Here's the product itself. This knobby thing can be turned so you can focus the camera yourself. It's kind of interesting. The instructions also appear to be very straightforward. They label everything from the different parts of the camera, how to hook it up, how it even pulls up on like your computer too. Now keep in mind I got this camera from five below, so it was it was literally like five five bucks and some change. <laughs> but in case anyone decides if they want to get this camera or not and they're not sure, they want to know what kind of quality they're getting, that's sort of the reason why I'm doing this video. It also says on the box that it is compatible with both Windows and Mac. So let's find out how this how this works. So I've pulled up my laptop and instead of presetting up everything like what I normally do, I just want to demonstrate to you guys how easy this is. So I'm just going to plug it in to USB and plug it in. Make sure it's in all the way. And then I'm going to find my camera app. The clip, the clip on the laptop appears to be pretty pretty easy because like this this also this also appears to turn as well side to side so following the picture on the front here and try to line it up just like that I know how stable that is though I will do a video with with the camera so that way y'all can see the actual quality of the camera. This little stand is a little difficult to uh to completely hook like it feels like it's just unstable and jiggly. You can turn it up and down. You can turn it side to side. Pull this down for a moment. 
those LED lights that are like here. That's how you turn them on. Looks simple enough. Now I just need to do a video to show you guys the actual quality instead of a video to a video. But it seems pretty easy. It didn't take very long for me to have to find it or look for it. All, all I had to do was pull up the camera app. So. Hey guys. So I've been experiencing some technical difficulties while doing the editing process. And so as a result, I'm going to be making a part two to this video, which will actually show the video quality of the webcam. Based on what I've seen, it's not a bad, it's not a bad product. I mean, at least it's not bad for $5. It would make a good beginner camera if you just want to see what it's like to use a webcam. It has an early 2000s feel to it. It's pretty easy to use. Pretty easy to find the videos when you make them, like where you save them on the computer. It's very easy. It's an interesting experience. The downsides are you might have to do some color correction because like this flannel comes up as almost orangey. Everything seems paler. Um, it's difficult to do video editing. Like if you need to make multiple parts and put them together because the frames the frames per second of the camera on webcams are like slower than if you're using something like your phone or a higher quality camera. But other than that, the only other issues are it's a bit gritty depending on the light the light situation that you have. It might be hard to see things. Movement isn't very smooth. Uh Otherwise, it's a pretty okay camera. It's a good starter camera. Other than that, you'll get to see what it looks like in part two. And I'll see y'all in the next video.